Are capacitors an indicator of quality? Hmm. Okay. They certainly do make a difference there, and a certainly different quality of caps, I'll tell you that much right off the bat. And this question comes from Ilan in Israel. And Ilan writes, Hi Paul, I've noticed that many designers mention the total farads of their stereo components, and they say that uh, in, in a way that makes it sound like more farads, the better. So, for example, I've heard a very famous designer mention that his phono preamp has half a million farads. How is that an indication to quality where on the other side, I'm reading that the best capacitor for audio is no capacitor at all. And that actually the goal of a capacitor is not to improve sound, but only to damage it as little as possible. So what is the deal? Okay, this is, this is why I love doing this series because it, it's like, what happened to truth? in our society. Well, part of what happened to truth in our society is there are so, there's so much information today that we hear little snips and, you know, and then we piece them together and try and make them correct. And uh, I think it, it's, it's just overwhelming the amount of information we have. And so it's great when we have a wonderful question like this to try and sort things out a little bit with some, with some proper answers. So, Everything Elon has said is absolutely true. All of it. Capacitors are, we want to get rid of them. I mean, in, in all cases, we want no capacitors. So we want a direct couple circuits because there's no capacitor like no capacitor. Said very well. I might have, he might be repeating me. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, absolutely. On the other hand, the more farads, the more uh, storage that we have in those capacitors, the better. So how can those two things be, make sense? Because we're talking about something very different. When we talk about direct coupling and getting rid of caps, we're talking about the signal path, the path that the signal takes from point A to point B, input to output. There we would like to have as few caps as possible, because there we want to have a straight, linear, direct coupled path. These farads that he's talking about, they're in the power supply that feeds the signal or the amplifier that's creating the signal. And there, lots of caps, that sounds great. If you have a good power supply design, more caps in it, probably the better it's going to sound because the cleaner your voltage is going to be. These capacitors that we use in our power supplies, if they're of high quality, they store the energy. So it's, it's remember we have these uh, 60 or 50 cycles going up and down, right? And those are converted with a diode bridge into separate plus and minus, but that isn't smooth voltage. That's not battery voltage. Once we separate it, all we have is a plus, these little plus humps up on the top. Rump, 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 and on the bottom, boom, boom, boom. That's all we've done is separate them. Now we got to smooth them out. Now we have to take those, those, those peaks of, of plus voltage and those peaks of minus voltage, and when they start to dip down, we're going to stop them from dipping down by storing some energy, and we do that in a capacitor. So as the voltage goes up, then we charge the capacitor, and as the voltage goes down, the capacitor stays charged, depending on how big it is, and it dips down a little bit. So what we wind up with is, is almost smooth. And the more caps we add, the smoother that gets before a regulator or whatever we're gonna hook it up. So, brief answer, more capacitance of a high quality is better in a power supply. Fewer caps are better in the signal path, okay? I hope that helps clear it up for you. Thanks for a great question. I'll talk to you tomorrow.